Breaking news! Volkswagen has dropped the price of ID.3 in China again. It now only costs 70 grand, even less than half the price in its hometown. But do you know why? Because even with this amount of money, we can still buy things like this. This is Baojun Cloud, an MPV-like small electric hatchback. By the look of it, it's fantastic. It's comfy, spacey, and perfect for family use. And when I did a walk around of it, the PR of Baojun told me that the dynamic of this car will also be a surprise and could even drive itself. So in today's video, let's find out if they were bragging. I'm Harris, we're watching Matt EV. First, let's look at the fundamentals. Clearly, the cloud was not built to provide great handling, and after driving it, you will notice that it has absolutely nothing to do with driving pleasure. But the tuning was perfectly right, because every bit of the car was built for comfort and convenience. About the chassis, the front MacPherson strut and the rear torsion beam suspension appear to prioritize cost effectiveness and space efficiency over sporty handling. However, thanks to the overall soft tuning, long suspension travel, high profile tires, and the rear axle hydraulic bushings that is very rare in the segment, this car can offer both roads a comfortable ride while ensuring good passability. Additionally, it's 1.6 tons, which is quite light for an EV, and the large battery pack gives a low center of gravity, which means that even with a soft suspension setup, you won't experience excessive swaying while driving. When it comes to handling, the car is very easy going. The steering is light and not very precise, but it maintains some resistance and self-centering force to improve the feel. The brake is also light, but the braking force is applied softly, so with a bit of practice, you can drive it smoothly. Plus, the comfort braking function, same as Neo's, further improves the ride. The throttle response is similar to Japanese cars, very sensitive in the first half, so even though it only has 100 kW of power, it still feels quite lively. However, because the throttle support is also light, you have to keep lifting your foot during low speed, otherwise you could easily exceed the speed limit. On sitting position, although it looks about the same size as Volkswagen ID.3, the layout of the entire cabin is quite different. Firstly, the seat is pretty high, so when you are on the road, your sight line is even similar to that of SUVs and large MPVs around you. Secondly, its front end is very short and the windshield is tall, so you can't judge the position based on the front, because you simply can't see it at all. Finally, this car is surprisingly wide. Even though its length is only 4.3 meters, it has an astonishing width of 1.85 meters, even wider than the mid-sized sedan Tesla Model 3. The result of this combination is that on narrow roads and when parking, you won't feel like you're driving a small car. Although this layout might compromise maneuverability, it somehow enhances the overall sense of luxury in a very unique way. If you are not familiar with the brand Baojun, I have to tell you that their cars handling are really not something to look forward to. They used to build much better upper body than the lower, but this cloud proves to be a bit different. Yes, it does not come close to the ID.3, but at least it's very comfortable drive or riding. If you think the dynamics of this car is already surprisingly good, wait till you see the ADAS. You might not be familiar with the brand Baojun, but I bet you know the brand that provides this system the famous drone maker DJI. So even under the limitation of only 7 cameras, 32 types of computing power, and 90 grand price tag, DJI gave the car a powerful ADAS, including memory parking assist that supports multiple floors, highway NOA that doesn't need HD map, and a city NOA that has a self-driving commuting mode. This affordable price means that DJI cannot afford expensive sensors, so there's no LiDARs and only 1mm wave radar, and even uses 360-degree cameras for sensing side objects. The loss in hardware means it has to be compensated through software, and this is where DJI shines, as it has accumulated years of experience in obstacle avoidance with drones. 
Although the chip has only 32 tops of power, DJI's excellent software capability still gave this cloud a BEV function and powerful perception, which is also why it can operate without HD map. The result, well, even without the popular transformer model and occupancy network, the highway NOA works really fine. The direction and speed control are smooth, the lane changing is decisive, and the response to being cut in is also confident. What surprised me even more was its performance in traffic jams. Even though the car we drove did not have the official urban commuting mode activated, the way it operates on highways is based on exact algorithm to how it will work in the city. So when it comes to things like following front cars at low speed, making continuous lane changes, and handling multiple cutting vehicles, it does a much better job than cars designed mainly for highway driving assist. In other words, despite having only 32 tops of computing power, this system's performance even outshines Neo's, which has a whopping 1060 tops. For Chinese consumers, things like NOA has become quite common, but in this affordable price range, it's still very rare. Before this cloud, it's the Volkswagen ID3, surprisingly, that has the best driving assist. So this could be a game changer. Overall, the Baldwin Cloud appears to be an all-round car that is practical, comfortable, smart, and economical. But upon closer inspection, you will find that it has pretty focused direction, which is to be a car that is easy to use while being cheap. Although the NVH and some of the material might be mediocre, thanks to impressive design and software optimization, it still is a very excellent electric car. So at the end of the video, let me ask you a question. Would you sacrifice some of the handling for a car to be much better overall? If your answer is yes, then you would understand why the Volkswagen ID3 is selling this chip in China. And if you do want to choose this over the ID3, I've been told there's going to be a European version. So it could be something you can look forward to.